Happy holidays, everyone, and welcome back. Toysh is here, and today we're going to be checking out something super by Super Action Stuff. This is their aptly named and probably the best name ever, the Casket of Cruelty. It's a bunch of action figure accessories. 26 gruesome accessories, 11 diabolical weapons, 15 blood and gore effects, and of course you can find out more on their website, or if you like what you see, I'll put a link down in the description below for Entertainment Earth. And you can pre-order it now because these should be uh, shipping out. But yeah, I really like what they did here. It promises uh, a whole heck of a lot of just bloody gore weapons, accessories. And it's in a gorgeous casket box that you can also use with your figures. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at the brand new Casket of Cruelty by Super Action Stuff. And well, I got all you cruel sickos here. So thanks so much for always checking out my YouTube videos. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing. Old toys, new toys, daily news updates, and a whole box of cruelty. But uh, like I said, yeah, this is a really nicely designed box. It looks like something out of Tombstone, right? Tombstone, the movie, love that. Old Western, it's really nicely done. And you open it up, and as you can see inside, it's got a little uh, packing materials in there. All of the weapons are just kind of in the box, right? You got the blood, the guts, the gore, all the different various weapons. But uh, yeah, we'll just go ahead and start removing all this fluff right here. So it's uh, it keeps all the, the weapons safe. Nothing broke, so you don't have to anything to worry about that. First and foremost, you get, uh, let's see, this is, oh, I get, okay. So I think a few of the weapons you have to put together. So this is part of the crossbow, right? So just flat black. This right here is actually really well painted. This is like a giant war axe, medieval axe. Really nice paint all over this. I got to give it to him. That's one of my favorites right there. And then, of course, like, we'll just go through it all. This is a larger blood effect, right? If you're into that photography, right, you will need some sticky tack and whatnot to make some of these work. But as you'll soon see in, in some of the videos coming up, uh, this kind of just fits over. If you pull off, let's say, a Marvel Legends head and you can kind of fit this off and you got blood, guts, and gore and it's sick but at the same time it makes for some fun action figure photography so in that sense yeah i think you'll have a blast with this now i gotta say this is actually pretty cool so you do get a chainsaw and it's very simple right in a lot of ways but it has a nice wash to it it's got some red in the blades and it just looks good and uh, as we dig around the box we'll have the other oh here it is right here yeah see it's uh it's like two pieces and uh, you get the handle and everything else, and this kind of just slots in there as such. There you go. Just kind of put it together, right? Just kind of, yeah, I like that. This Mary's pretty good, right? And then, uh, yeah, you can just start going to town, right? Eviscerating your enemies, and you can put them all in that casket uh, when you're done with them. But great paint overall. I got to give it to them. That's a really nicely done chainsaw right there. Even the handle, right? All the buttons and everything else. Hey, that's another favorite right there. You got a big whooshing effect. It's clear plastic. This can fit, I'm assuming, on a sword. Maybe some type of uh, samurai sword, war sword, something like that. This is one of those billy clubs. I think that there's some riot gear, something like that, in here. It's kind of like a mystery, right? It's, uh, it's fun to pull all these things out. This is another favorite right here. This is a nail gun. And uh, I don't know, it just really painted nice. It's got a little metallic paint. To it, orange, silver, a little blue. That's really cool. I actually really like that. I've never actually had something like a weapon like that for uh, figures. And of course, when you're done with a nail gun and uh, yeah, yes, sir, I want another. Uh, you got a big paddle right here, or maybe it's a cricket bat. Either which way, right? It's got some blood all over it. Uh, and I like what they did with the blood. It looks like in the sense of painting it on some of the weapons, it looks wet. So nicely done there, nice effects. And, oh yeah, see, okay. So you take your crossbow and this kind of just pieces together, much like the chainsaw. So you got yourself a cool looking crossbow. Oh, here's the sword. So with that little whooshing effect, you got a really nice samurai sword, black handle, purple, silver. That's pretty cool, nice, no complaints there. You have a machete with a bunch of blood on it, right? Again, the blood looks wet. It's nicely painted. I, I give it to them all day. What's nice to see is that there's really no sloppiness to these weapons. 
everything is done nicely. See, here's the riot shield. So again, nicely done if you have, let's see, I mean, immediately this comes to mind, a lot of different photos. Walking Dead, something like that. I like the clear plastic on that. That's a very interesting accessory. Not one that I have in the old collection. And, you know, these are very handy to have when you uh, want to take some funny photos from time to time. Along with, uh, you know, some blood and gore effects. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not too stoked on the blood and the gore. That's just not my thing. Oddly enough, there's uh, blood and gore inside this blood and gore, right? You get a twofer. Blood and gore, but uh, I'm more uh, into the weapons, and you know, you know, I take that back. I I wouldn't mind some body parts, like I guess it's a human heart. <laughs> like you reach into someone's chest, pulled it out, you got some bloodied effects. Larger, small, teeny tiny. This is the coolest thing ever. These are boxing gloves. <laughs> Those are awesome. A little bit of paint chippage on some of the red right there, but how these work is like, let's say you take a Spider-Man, Marvel Legends. Pull the hands off, and these kind of just slip over up to the arms. And they stay on there pretty well. I like the little skull cat thing going on right there. And then you have some other blood effects, teeny tiny. This one looks like it'll hook onto a sword, maybe the axe. So that's cool. Look like blood drippings. Again, large, small, medium, all different kinds of blood effects. But some of these you're going to have to have like a sticky tack to attach them to your figures and then you have this right here oh i see what this is okay so if you don't want let's say chainsaw right this can disassemble that's cool and uh, then you can have uh, more of just a, a saw blade or maybe you want to cut your deli meat extra thin you know what i mean but uh, that's cool to have two different variations on that i like that a lot nice thinking there and again let's see oh we got uh, <laughs> A little blood effect, and then you have a brain. See, this is cool. You know, you can have fun with the zombies and uh, Marvel zombies, DC zombies. You got a couple arrows, and again, talking about zombies, I'm thinking about Daryl and his crossbow right here. One of them is bloodied. One of them, let's see, you can put pretty much on top of the crossbow. That looks cool. And with the bloodied arrow, again, you have sticky tack, something like that. You can attach it to one of your figures. To kind of round it out, it's a little mini blood effect at the bottom of the casket, and then... I think my favorite bloody effects right here are the eyeballs. <laughs> that is pretty darn cool. So that kind of finishes it out. And now you get to have a lot of fun accessorizing all your various figures. So what I found is that within reason, right? Four inch, five inch, six inch, seven inch, eight inch figures, just depending, also depending if they have hands to hold all the weapons and whatnot, yeah, they'll pretty much fit. The boxing gloves will vary. I think some of the weapons will vary in certain ways. The blood effects will pretty much work with anything. I would say probably more in the realm of the six inch figure collectors, Marvel Legends especially. I really, really like the chainsaw for Deadpool. That just fits so well, but... You get what I'm saying here. You can really kind of fit it with a whole bunch of different action figure scales and a bunch of different action figure companies in. You can have a lot of fun. Again, taking photos, setting them up, do everything you want to do, make it gory, make it less gory. I'll admit, as much as I don't like all the gory stuff, uh, this is pretty solid right here. <laughs> It's kind of fun. You could tell a story, right? You got all the blood dripping off of the sword right there. Deadpool kind of works, right, with the with most of these. With the larger blood effects, I don't know. You can have lots of fun doing things. Vomits, whatever you want to do, right? And again, like I said, the best part, 6 inch to around 7 inch, just depending. Uh, yeah, you can use the casket for your figure which is totally solid so that will wrap it up for my look at the brand new casket of cruelty by super action stuff and thank you to super action stuff for providing this press sample to give you guys this early look and like i said if you like what you see is i'll put a link down in the description below you can grab it off entertainment earth and let me know down in the comments what's your favorite accessories right for me the boxing glove, I like the chainsaw. Some of the blood effects are cool. I'll give it to them. And I like the riot gear. I really like the riot shield. So I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, I would say keep on bringing on these accessory sets. There's a lot of fun to be had here. And I'm sure a lot of great photos in the works. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios.